guns, ammo, and drones here. Hey guys, look what I've got. I have the CZ P10C. This gun's amazing. Um, I had no intentions of, of really getting a CZ, especially one that basically is just another brand of, of Glock in a sense. Um, this gun is, is almost the same exact dimensions as the Glock 19. Matter of fact, it's stated on a lot of videos here on YouTube that this gun will fit the majority of Glock holsters. And uh, while that's true, I have found a few that it doesn't fit. Blackhawk uh, makes the holsters that I really like to take to the range. Um, and this does not fit a Glock 19 uh, Blackhawk Serpa. So I was kind of disappointed about that because I really like those those holsters are very comfortable. But this gun is really, really nice. It's got a, a really nice grip texture here. They're, they're just squares, you know, as you can see, they're just square, but they are pretty pronounced and you do get a really good grip on the gun. It does have a really high area up in here, uh, underneath the, uh, the, up on top of the back strap here for where you just get a really good, good hold of the gun. And as far as the bore axis goes, uh, it's probably about the same as the Glock 19 and then a few other pistols. So it's, it's a really, really smooth shooting gun. Um, it does have the interchangeable back straps, which is uh, fairly easy to do. It's got a roll pin right here that you punch out and take it out, but it does come with two extras, so small, medium, and large. It does have ambidextrous slide stop and slide release. This is one of those guns where I really like uh, a gun that you can actually do both, unlike the, the new Smith & Wessons. They're very difficult, but this one here, whenever I change a mag, I put a new mag in, I really do like the uh, the ability to um, uh, drop the slide with the with the uh, with the thumb. It's a little bit harder than some of the other guns, um, but you can still do it. And it is ambidextrous. Now this one here also has ambi magazine release. Now this is one of those ones where you don't have to reverse it because it actually has two buttons: one on one side, one on the other. So you don't have to worry about uh, reversing those. Magazines, they're standard uh, 15 round in uh, in these, and these are CZ brand. They're they're steel uh, with this salmon color follower. They're they're actually really nice. Um, positive eject, kind of. <laughs> it does pretty good. It's not as good as a lot of them, so it's it's a little bit better than than some, but it's uh it it does eject the the magazine pretty good. It does have your rail very similar to a Glock because it just has this one. Uh, cut out here, which I really wish it would have had maybe two or at least three. Um, I like to put lights on these and I have found that the stream light does not fit like the TLR1. Uh, it doesn't fit this gun. Uh, the O lights, the O lights do because they're completely adjustable, but uh, the stream lights don't, but that's okay. That's, that's not that big of a deal. It's got a great uh, slide finish. Again, I'm not really sure what what the finish is on on the on the slide but uh it seems to be really nice it actually reminds me of the old gen 3 um, glocks because it kind of has like a teflon shiny shininess to it and uh and i really like that uh, which is why i really like the gen 3 glocks as far as the the uh, teardown lever lever goes the teardown little buttons here uh very very similar to a glock Okay, nothing in the chamber. Basically, it's the same process. You just kind of relieve some of the pressure, pull these down. Now, these are really nice because these are already kind of extended, unlike the Glocks where they're much smaller and, and sometimes you have to buy the extra extended uh, uh, lever here and so that you can get a good, good grip on it to pull it down. Well, this one here is not too bad. This one here just pulls down, takes apart. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Let me go. There we go. All right. And tearing it down, it basically looks just like the inside of a Glock. It's missing the the uh, uh, safety up here, but it's back here. You know, you just, just in a different spot. Um, but uh, that that's it's no big deal. As long as it's there, we're in good shape. As far as the rest of the gun, you can see the inside here. I mean, it's just, just your standard 
standard pistol these days. And uh, basically, as soon as you click it back, it locks and you are good to go. CZ's got a really good history with a lot of their with a lot of their pistols, and um, and uh, this is my first pistol uh, made by CZ. I realized that they had a they've had a long history of making really good uh, really good pistols, a lot of the steel pistols and and uh, whatnot. But as far as going into the polymer, I am a big fan of polymer. So it was at a good price. I got this one off of Gunbroker. I've had uh, a lot of you guys that have sent me messages asking about who I use for auctions and where I go and and things like that. Um, the two the two main ones that I go uh, would be Bud's Gun Shop online. It's Bud's Bud's Gun Shop online, I believe it's what it is, and um, they have really good prices, free shipping, no tax, and Gunbroker. Now, Gunbroker is uh, a good spot if you want to do auctions. Uh, you can buy it now if you find one that you're happy with the price. Then uh, that's a really good spot to go. I try not to go to gun stores anymore uh, unless I'm just going to look at the gun or feel it before I buy it. Um, not not a big fan of paying state tax on on the gun and and um, and paying those higher prices. You can get really good deals online and. Uh, that's what I choose to. That's what I choose to do. So, obviously, the the option is yours. Now, this gun here was advertised on Gunbroker as a used gun, but from what I can tell, this gun has not been shot. There is no barrel chatter at all on this gun. Um, it was advertised as used, but it is advertised as in excellent condition. And sure enough, the only thing the previous owner did to this was. Uh, change out the sights. They put the blacked out rear and they did the the uh, green fiber optic front and uh, I really like it. Uh, I was not really a big fan of the blacked out back end uh, sight but I really like it now so it works out pretty good and it's very visible. I love the green the green's very easy to see, uh, even in lower light situations. Uh, green is the is a color that the human eye uh, can see the best of, and uh, which is why green lasers are real popular. And uh, I'm hoping that green lasers completely take over the red market at some point. Uh, I doubt that they will because red does serve a purpose. But I really like the green. This one here is the FDE, and um, and surprisingly, it's a it's a it was a lighter color than what I thought it was going to be. You take the Beretta APX, which you can clearly see that these two are completely different colors. And this one here does look like sandy, you know, whatever, desert sand or, or desert tan or what have you. That's It's also FDE. Everybody has their own, their own shade, I should say. But this one here is actually really nice. This one here, when I think of FDE, this is the color that I really think of, and, and uh, it's really nice. I do want to send a shout shout out to uh, Such because uh, he actually did a review on this gun, and I don't know if I said that in the beginning or not, but this is probably one of the reasons why I, I got this gun because of his review. Um, if you've never heard of him, then where have you been? Uh, if you haven't seen very many of his videos, go check them out. I don't know the guy; I just watch his videos because they're produced in a way uh, to be very informative and they really do show off um, everything about the gun that he's talking about. He's very informed and just the way that he shoots his videos and, and the process he goes through, you can see that it's uh, the, the production value is really high. So uh, he makes really good videos. And thanks to his video, I saw this one and, and uh, I really wanted it. And so I'm glad that I did. I got it for a really good deal. Um, I was the only bidder on it, so I got it at a very, very good price. Uh, be patient if you are if you are going to buy pistols online and, and do auctions and things like that. Um, find a good deal, uh, something that you're that you're comfortable with, and um, and and bid on it. And if you lose it, then that's great. I mean, it's because you can just go on to the next one. I mean, there's there's plenty of, of auctions for for these kinds of guns and and just about any gun you could want. So. Um, anyway, that's it for this gun. It's a very, very nice gun. Uh, feels fantastic in the hand. Uh, I can probably say that just about 
all of the pistols that I own. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, every gun feels, feels fairly different, but they all feel good. Um, but it's a really nice gun. It's got a great history. Um, the warranty's good on them. And uh, the price is decent right now. This is the the uh, the P uh, the P10C. So this is the compact version of the full size P10. And uh, this is the Glock 19 size. So hope you guys liked the video. Send me a message if you think there's anything else you want to know about the gun. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions if uh, if I happen to know the answer. And uh, I hope you guys uh, come back and check out some more videos. Thanks, guys. See you later.